because those chemicals and costly seeds will generate profits for the agribusiness. Cargill owns the biggest fertilizer company, which tripled its profits last year. Those chemical fertilizers are a major cause of climate change. 35% of climate change is related to industrial and globalized agriculture. The minister referred to the food miles and the emissions, to the energy intensity of industrial agriculture. Chemical fertilizers are killing our soils, they're creating dead zones in our oceans, and they're killing the atmosphere, whereas organic agriculture, organic farming, brings life to the soil, life to the oceans, and brings back life to the air. That's the way we will have to move. I will not talk too much about the links between climate change and food security, because there's a series of workshops and sessions both at the Salone and at Terra Madre. Tomorrow at 12 in the Sala Giala at um, the Salone on 25th at 1 p.m. in Room C in Terra Madre. Please come. The manifesto on the future of the future of food on climate is going to be available. It's the International Commission of the Future of Food whose third manifesto this is which in fact led to the idea and inspiration for a Terra Madre because Carlo, who's a member of the commission, asked how would we make this real? How would we make this vision real? And I said it would be wonderful to get the peasants of the world together. And of course, Carlo made it happen. Thank you, Carlo. We are being repeatedly told that GMOs are the answer to the food crisis, to the climate crisis. I became a scientist because I was told as a little child of five years old, to do science is to know, to know the truth. And I'm addicted to truth seeking. And because of that, I want to tell you, GMOs do not produce more food, that's a lie, it's a scientific lie. GMOs are not a solution to the climate crisis, they'll make it worse, both by creating more industrial agriculture as well as by patenting our seeds of resilience, of drought, of flood tolerance, of salt tolerance. This is a biopiracy and we will be launching a campaign this winter against this biopiracy of our common defense to face climate change. I have come repeatedly to Italy because Italy has both been the source of inspiration to create slow food, but also been the catalyst to create the GMO-free regions of Europe. I was therefore disheartened to read that the Italian health minister says there is no health problem. I would like to invite him to come and see how many of our goats and sheep and buffaloes have died grazing on BT cotton fields or eating oil cake made from cotton. Farmers are dying because of the negative economy. Life is being extinguished. We cannot afford this experiment to carry on just because it suits Monsanto. This terra madre must be a new determination to keep our food and farming GMO free. The globalized economy based on fictions, the globalized economy based on greed is failing us, is leading crisis to crisis. Terra Madre invites us to return to the earth, Terra, and Madre, earth as mother. All we have to do is once again remember how our mothers fed the world. Families during war, during scarcity, never thinking of how to take, always thinking how to give. It's that generosity and abundance of sharing, of caring, 
that we must rejuvenate. We can, we are the future, let's make it happen. Thank you.